Hello everyone. Como esta salahat? I have missed you guys so much. I can't wait to start talking and chatting. Um, so ask me questions, whatever you want to know, ask me and I gladly tell you. It's been such a long time. Um, I can't wait to come back home to the Philippines. I miss you all so much. Um, and yeah, let me know. Whatever questions you have, just ask me and I would answer. Hey guys, good morning. I know you're just waking up. You must be so tired. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe during this pandemic. I'm trying to stay safe as well. Um, I've been doing a lot of advocacy for children. I have partnered with a couple of children TV stations to be able to create, come up with a concept called Warrior. So it's about a superhero that fights the coronavirus. So my main purpose and goal is to teach children how to stay safe from the coronavirus. Um, and I basically just try to help them as much as I possibly can. Um, so yeah, I hope you're all staying safe and we're all being responsible and staying inside um, and helping the people at the front lines do their job by staying inside. So yeah. Hi, Tito Gio. I miss you so much. Mahal kita. Hi, guys. Okay, I'm just going to keep talking. Um, I think you guys are just waking up, so I'm just going to keep talking. Um... So, as I said, I've been working on the Corona Warrior. It's about, um, um, as a warrior that teaches children about the coronavirus and protects them from um, doing anything that will put them at risk. Um, also, I am in Los Angeles at the moment. What happened was after the Philippines, I went back to Ghana and I worked on a couple of campaigns and I worked on the modeling school with a couple of girls and um, I came back to Los Angeles and I was supposed to go I was supposed to go back to Ghana but unfortunately the borders closed and I couldn't go back so I am stuck here in Los Angeles trying to stay safe yes Tito Gio I will stay safe um, it's very important for us to stay safe for us to stay inside um, so that we can help the people on the front lines as well do their job um, what was your memory? Oh, in the Philippines. Well, my most favorite memory was going down to the street and being able to buy food, buy quick quick, buy balot, and I was able to eat it and mingle with everybody, my people. It was just really amazing, and I really miss it. You know, I really miss quick quick. Like, it's 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 <laughs> crazy. Um, but I love the street food. That's what I miss. I miss Toronto. I miss Balot, I miss Quick Quick, I miss Banana Q. <laughs> I miss it all. Can you read the video for the coronavirus? Um, I don't understand. I don't understand your question. You want me to react it? Okay, um, so basically in the video what I'm doing is I am dancing and I am just teaching the children how to do the five. So with the five, basically, I'm like, um, remember to wash your hands, um, remember to stay far away from each other, like three feet to six feet away from each other, um, and basically things like that. It's on my Instagram. It's Abinay Kriyaba. You can go and you can watch it. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> Yes, the vid yes, it is the video tutorial that I did. Yes, it's on my Instagram and you can watch it. Thank you, Po. Salamat Po, Vincent. Salamat Po. 
have I tried have you tried eat singing um are you trying to say have I tried eating and and singing no I haven't tried that is that a, a dish um GJ I don't know I haven't tried that yet I don't think my Tito Gio had me try that <laughs> Um, so Christina, what's next for the Corona Warrior? Well, I basically did just two episodes. It was the first one introducing the Corona Warrior and um, the second one that basically spoke about, um, it was like just a video and doing a dance um, and showing the kids the steps to take to prevent them from getting infected. Yeah, so. Hey guys, so I'm here for you. I know you're just waking up. Talk to me. Gee, it's a dish. Yes, definitely. I'm looking to come back really soon and I hope I can try it. Um, I want to try all the new things. Hi. Hello. Hey guys, I'm trying to respond to you as much as possible. So ask me questions. I'm here for the next 20 minutes. <sighs> adobo. Oh, I haven't tried adobo yet. I don't think I ever tried it, but I know it's really good. Who was my closest friend in Miss Earth? Um, I would say my closest friend was Peru. Um, I'll say Peru because we were in a room together so we were able to like talk and converse and like interact with each other all the time and share our secrets and stuff so I would say Peru. You guys are just waking up. I know it's super early. I told, I was like 9 a.m. Everybody's waking up. I'm actually not even awake by 9 a.m. Hi, Miss Ghana. How are you? You are pretty. Salamat po. Thank you so much. What did you feel when you did not wake up? Um, I was kind of, you know, I feel like in life everything happens for a reason. And if it's your time, it's it's going to happen. And so I didn't feel bad about it. I was just, I'm just waiting for my time. And um, I am happy for the girl that did win. And next time I hope to do better. I'm waiting for you guys. Hello, Sa. How are you? I'm here for the next 20 minutes. Um, what's next for the Universe Traveling Girls? Well, I don't know. So the Universe Traveling Girls, we do, um, we do a lot. We do a lot of events. We do a lot of um, um gatherings and we're trying to go back to we were trying to come here to the united states we're trying to arrange a trip but um because of the corona everybody's gonna have to stay home so we don't know yet um but i hope within the next year or so everything will clear up and we'll be able to do more i like your accent thank you so much salamat po thank you Hey guys, I'm waiting for you guys to wake up. Mary mentioned me. Hi, Mira. How are you? 
how is this COVID situation in Ghana? So unfortunately, I am not in Ghana. I am in Los Angeles. I came to Los Angeles. The border's closed in Ghana. I'm not able to go back home. So I'm here. So yeah, how is, how is the COVID situation in the Philippines? Let me know. Will you be joining other international pageants? Hope to see you join again. Uh, Prince, I might. It's a surprise. So I would let you know when I do. Thank you so much. Salamat po, Chatty. I want to be like you. Please sponsor me. Um, well, I mean, what I do for other girls is I teach and I encourage and I motivate girls to go out and be whoever they want to be and strive hard to achieve their aims. So that's what I can do for you. I can coach you and I can mentor you. Um, so just let me know. You have my Instagram, you have my Facebook, and let me know. We have 10 cases and oh 10 cases oh, I'm so sorry to hear that I hope you're staying safe and you're staying inside well I'm waiting for you guys to wake up Um, if this is all over, what will you do first? Well, the first thing I'm going to do, I want to travel. So exactly when this is over, I'm going to travel to the Philippines and I'm going to get myself some quack quack. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> My IG handle is Abina Ikuaba. That's A-B-E-N-A and A-K-U-A-B-A. That's my IG handle. I'm actually super excited that I'm connecting with you guys again. It's been forever. Um, and I really like this. Um, so during the quarantine, I am staying indoors as I'm supposed to. Everybody's supposed to stay inside. Um, and I'm working out a lot and I am working on school. I'm taking a course at Columbia. Um, I'm doing monetary economics. So I'm just trying to further my education and keep myself busy as much as possible. Um, my favorite Filipino movie, Hello, Love, Goodbye. Yes. Yes, that's my favorite <laughs> Filipino movie. You love my smile. It's all positive. Thank you so much. Thank you. Salamat po. It looks like you guys are still sleeping. I know it's super early. It's 9 a.m. over there, right? Because it's, mm, it's late here. What? No. Um, what's your name? Samira? Samira. Well, I am here for you. If you need any support, if you need encouragement, motivation, just let me know. Hit me up on Instagram and I'll definitely support you in any way that I can. Um, hello. How are you? Cleveland, Ohio. My sister lives there. You're really in the Good work and spread the message of positivity. Thank you, Alan. Um, well, hello from the Philippines. Mabuhai, Mabuhai. Um, Samira, I love you too. Mahal kita. Mahal din kita. Um, hello, how are you? 
Hello, I'm doing well. How are you? Why are you in LA, Lando? Well, I am in Los Angeles because this is my second, my third home. I live in Los Angeles. I live in Ghana and move into the Philippines soon. I came here, the borders in Ghana closed, so I definitely can't go back. Um, but this is also my home. I live here, I work, and yeah, it's a second home. What means LGBTQ for you? Okay, what does it mean for me? I think it means love, peace, inclusive, like, um, inclusiveness, like, um, just love. Love. We're all equal. We're all one people. We all love one another. It doesn't matter who you love or who you're attracted to. I feel like we're all one people. Who are you in Los Angeles? I feel like I just answered that question. Thanks for showing your love to our country, the Philippines. No problem, Alan. Um, thanks for accepting me as one of your own favorite place in the Philippines. Well, I went to so many places in the Philippines. I went to Cebu. I went to Manila, of course. I went to Panglao, Bahal. Ooh, I love Bahal. Bahal, yeah. Yeah, and Biko. I think, yeah. So I went to a lot of places in the Philippines. I'm just. Sorry, guys, my phone died. I'm back. Sorry, my phone died. My phone went off, so I it, it just cut automatically. I'm sorry about that, but I am back. Better than ever. Hola. Hi, Antoinette. How are you? Sorry for the, the, the glitch there. My phone went off, but I'm back now to answer all your questions. Hi, Arvin. It's so early in the Philippines. Last few minutes with me, guys. So ask all your questions. Hello. Hi. Hello everyone. It's so unfortunate that I can't see everybody that's watching, but I would like everybody to ask me a question because I'm about to leave. Hi. Hi, Ma. Well, I'm happy. I'm glad I'm here with you guys. What is your biggest pageant so far? My biggest pageant? Um. Well, I've competed in a lot of pageants. Mm. <laughs> I did Miss Universe, Miss Earth, Queen Beauty Universe, Top Model of the World. So it depends. I think they're all equally great. Um, can you react your favorite intro here? Especially when you went viral. Okay. Um, I'm back on Malakas Kamai, I like in my Ghana. <laughs> Love you here in the Philippines, proud of you, and you're planning to join Miss Universe or even Miss World, cause, cause uh, you have a good heart. Salamat po, thank you so much, Jason. Um, Miss Universe, I already competed in Miss Universe, so I don't think I'm gonna be going back, but maybe, um, I don't know, maybe Miss World, I don't know. I'll let you guys know if I decide to do so. Oh, what a good moral lessons of COVID. Um, Jen, okay, so, so far I have learned so much. It has brought us together as a family. Now we have more time to spend with each other, listen to each other, um, and I think we have more time for ourselves to be able to build and create and put more time and effort in ourselves, making ourselves great. 
um, and also mother earth is getting a rest <laughs> we're not polluting as much as we were before if you could change one thing about the world what would it be if I could change one thing about the world it would be uh, the level of pollution I would wish that everybody would love and treat mother earth as the way we would want mother earth or anybody else in the world to treat us so that's what I would change if I had the opportunity um, how would you like to be remembered as a parent? well I would like to be remembered as the queen that loves everyone adores everyone motivates encourages and I just I just want to be able to love and I just want to be able to send good vibes out there I just want everybody to um, know that it's not a competition like um, with competitions and beauty pageants everybody's fighting and everybody's struggling and everybody wants to win but that's not it the main purpose and the main goal is to be able to motivate and pick people up with you and have a platform what is your favorite food in the Philippines? Um, so as I said, my favorite food is quek quek, balot, <laughs> banana queue. What is your favorite food in the Philippines? Love you from the Philippines. Hi, bravo. Hey, what quality do you like most about yourself and why? So the quality I love most about myself is I am very loving and I love that that's a great quality to have because you're able to um, open up to everyone you're able to help and you're able to be there as a person so I like that about me okay guys I'm gonna go soon any last question throw your last questions at me and I'm gonna go skincare routine <laughs> um, so I really don't have a skincare routine honestly I just I don't know I don't I don't have one I'm sure you're glowing too you're beautiful go for it Miss Ghana I want to see you in Miss World stage as beauty queen those Um, well, Jason, thank you so much, and I would definitely take it into consideration. Um, I don't know if I want to, but I, I, I will think about it, and if I do, I'll definitely let you know. And to, as you said, to the people that have been affected by the COVID-19, keep on fighting, stay strong, um, stay home, stay safe, and everything will be okay. How did you overcome your stage fright? Um, my stage fright so you guys know my story growing up as a child I was bullied I went through a lot I I um, have my I had my head shoved in the toilet like I, I went through so much and I was a really 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 shy person so growing up I had the support system my mom my dad my siblings they supported and encouraged me and by doing that it allowed me to be confident and allow me to accept me for me. So by accepting me and knowing that um, there's nothing that I can't do if I put my mind to, that ha helped me overcome my stage fright. Um, what is your biggest challenge at the end of the day? Hi, Mabu, hi. Um, in three words, I would define myself as Hmm. I am dedicated, compassionate, and I'm very career driven, I would say. My dis definition of success, Alan. Um, well, I would say success is whatever, I would say success is whatever you see success to be. Because if I believe that um, within the next two years, I'm going to achieve this and achieve that, and if I'm able to achieve that, to me, that's success. So far as you, whenever you fall or when you fail, if you're able to get back up, I believe that's success. Because it's really, really hard to fail. Now, the most hardest thing to do is to get back up. And if you're able to do that, trust me, you're successful. 
what was the best and worst experience you have experienced in the journey of pageantry? Well, pageantry, I would say the best is that I have sisters for life. Now, I have sisters wherever in the world I want to travel, I have a sister to um, go to, hang out with, mingle with. That's amazing. But I would also say the insults and the negativity that comes from people, the fans, um, I would say that's the hardest of pageantry because it really takes a lot from us. So we are doing our best, trust me, like with the daily practices and and like working out and trying to be the best that we can be and to have people tell you that you are ugly or you are not doing this right. For people to look down on you, I'll say that's the hardest because in pageantry people do judge you and I would say that that would be the hardest. Um, what is the best thing or worst thing? Okay, so I have a couple of questions here. So, Alan, I'll answer yours first. Where do I see myself in the next five years? So, in the next five years, um, I want to be able to... I Everybody knows I have a modeling school back at home. And with my modeling school, I basically take young girls who are not able to attain an education. And I build and I develop their talents so they can use their talents to benefit themselves in the future. Like, for example, if one person is interested in fashion, I would develop their fashion ability and help them be able to generate funds for themselves in the future by using their talents. So within the next five years, I want to be able to expand my school and have it not just in Ghana, but in other parts of the world. And um, I want to have a beautiful family and I just want to be successful and happy in everything that I do. Um, what will you face here? How will I face my fear? Well, um, I, it depends on what my fear is. Um, let me know. I, I don't, right now, for now, I don't have any fears. Um, but <laughs> I believe that if you do have a fear, the best way to face it is to um, face it head on. Don't hide from it. Mahal kita, mahal din kita. Um, hi, mahal din kita. How are you guys? So is here. Hi. Are you guys done with your questions? Hi. Thanks, Alan, for the great question. I think I actually missed the question over here. It was, how do you take care of your hair? Um, so that's actually pretty easy. I just, I change my hair like every month or so. Right now it's in braids, it's a protective style. Um, so, yeah. what is my biggest enemy in life and why <laughs> um enemy so i would say my i don't i don't actually don't have a big enemy but i'll say my biggest enemy is myself because sometimes i i am not as motivated as i'm supposed to and i would say your biggest enemy is yourself because if you want to do something you are the only one that can tell yourself that I cannot do it so if you're able to be strong and not stay in your head and listen to your head I believe that you're defeating the enemy so I would say that's my biggest enemy myself um, you're welcome good luck I hope you got the crown oh thank you Thank you. Salamat po. Mabuhay. I should... Yes, I did do that. Please sing the Earth Song. I am not... Okay, so right now I cannot sing for you guys because I do not know. I've not sang in a long time. Um, so... I would send a link to the latest song that I'm working on so you guys can listen to it. Um, what would you say is the biggest problem based on education of today? Why? 
If you would choose beauty or brains, which one would I go? Okay, so I have two questions. Um, I would, let's see, maybe. Okay, so if you will choose beauty or brains, if if you will choose beauty or brains and why? Um, well, I believe that brains is very important. Um, I believe a very intelligent person is a very beautiful person, and I believe that um, beauty comes and go. Um, but with your brain intelligence, you would always have it forever, and that would be a key to guide you into a very successful future. Okay, last few questions. Okay, Alvin, I got it. Okay, so bye guys. If you don't have any more questions for me, what is the one thing? Um, so one thing that has changed in my life um, whilst joining Miss Earth, let's see. So I am more, I am more, I am more involved with environmental matters. I, you know, my platform was educate to eradicate. So um, after Miss Earth, I've still been doing that. I've been working with a lot of children. I've been educating and teaching them about Mother Earth, and I think that's a very amazing thing that I'm doing um, because I'm able to teach. And I believe that with what I'm doing in the future, we might have um, kids know more about Mother Earth and they will be the savers and protectors of Mother Earth. Um, from Philippines, we miss you take good care of yourself. Salamat po, Joshua. Thank you so much. And Simon News Portal, who actually knows will be online. I should have won. You're disappointed. It's okay. You shouldn't be disappointed. Everything happens for a reason. I believe so. Mm, what makes you different from other girls and competing in the pageant? Well, I believe every single girl is different. And um, what made me different is, I, I mean, I can't speak for other girls, but for me, I was more concerned about my pr platform and advocacy. And the fact that I was able to get my advocacy out there was a big win for me. So the crown at the end of the day was not what I was looking for. Um, being able to impact different lives as much as I did, winning the hearts of my Pinoy people, um, I would say that was the most fun and that was the greatest achievement for me. Will I consider living in the Philippines? Yes, I would. I will be living in the Philippines, moving to the Philippines soon. So watch out for me. <sighs> would I compete again for Miss Ghana Universe? I do not think so, but I would definitely let you know if I do. Um, I'm your number one during Miss Earth. It's sad that you didn't win. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Everything happens for a reason. Um, as I said, I, if I do think about competing again, I would let you guys know, but for now, I am gonna go, and I hope to speak to you guys again. Um, Follow me on Instagram, which is Abina Ekuada. You can also follow my TikToks. I just got on TikTok. <laughs> um, it's Abina Ekuaba as well. And my Facebook is also Abina Ekuaba. Um, um, so yeah, so just follow me. And I love you guys, and I hope to see you guys soon. Um, Mahal kita. Bye, guys. <laughs>